gotta find a place to put you guys. Workbench is full. Oh man. Let's see, anybody joining? <laughs> Got nobody. Cool, give me time to set up. Have my tripod around here somewhere. Yo, what's up, man? <laughs> How you doing, man? He's doing awesome, man. Doing awesome. It's been a it's been a while since I've been in the garage, though. I'm in a mess right now. Trying to set up a tripod here. Check this out. This is my uh, <laughs> Jeep Commander's head unit. My wife is gonna kill me. Oh man. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> yes, that's right. Perfect time to have a kid, right? It is cold right here. Put this up here. See that stuff, Eric? <laughs> oh, man. All right. I think I'm going to need the soldering iron for this one. <laughs> oh yeah, four kids. All right, soldering iron is warming up. I'm going live. All right, so here's the deal. I've been driving the commander a lot lately. Um, wife's been taking care of the baby. I've been driving the other girls to school. And um, I wanted to play music in the Commander, and I noticed the audio jack was not working. Um, that's not too bad. I got XM, so I've been listening to XM songs. That's cool. Um, and then a light just went out on the um, center console. Uh, <laughs> I took that apart, too. I'll be right back. Let me show you. That. Hey, I'm back. All right. So I wanted to take apart this thing and get to the two lights that were out in here. So um, got this out, and uh, all I gotta do is get it to here, get the bolts out. So this is the reason why I started. And um, while I took that apart, I figured let me try to get to the audio jack. That wasn't working. Um, something in here is broken, and uh, I had to take apart the whole head unit to get in there. And uh, man, I'm in deep. I got the screen here. I got the, uh, the faceplate here. The motor to open it over here. I got stuff everywhere. So I figured I'd just do a quick live stream. It's my first live stream, and. Uh, now, I don't have a solder plunger, but I do have uh, the wicking wire, so it can suck up old solder. So I'm going to, um, I think I'm just going to give a dab of new solder. 
So here's the problem. Um, <laughs> this is the this is the audio jack right here, and um, you take apart this cover. There's all the little connections. Let's see if you can see anything in there. All right. So what I thought was happening was I guess somebody might have put in the jack, put in the plug, and then you know whacked the plug and and bent it, put some pressure on it when it was in here. And what happens when that happens is it will usually just uh, crack the solder joints and these, uh, right here, this little chip. There we go. But um, these look good. They might be microscopic fractures, but that's all good. I'm going to try to do a quick reflow, and then I'm going to go in here and scrub out this contact, and then try to put this whole thing back together. All right, so this is where I'm at now. Um, guess I'm just going to dab a little bit of uh, hot solder on this little chip. So, all right, there we go. Let's see, who's still here? <laughs> this is my first project in about a month and a half, so bear with me. See if this is even hot enough. <laughs> hey, what's up, Dan? How you doing, man? Ladies and gentlemen, we are live. Not too much action, though. Just wanted to say what's up. Oh man, not prepared for this one. That is all my stuff. Brought some mess, by the way, because uh, I built those bunk beds. Didn't really get a chance to put all my tools away. So I got piles of Jeep parts and then piles of lumber <laughs> construction material. So definitely a mess. I need your soldering tips, so fantastic. It's freaking freezing out. Yo, Eric, how do you scroll through the live comments? <laughs> I put my phone on the tripod so I can't see anything. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Thanks, Eric. Yeah, Dan. I uh, spent a lot of time in the garage. Not in the garage, I'm in the bedroom. Put in a new floor, uh, painted the walls, and built that massive bunk bed. I think pictures up on my Insta Instagram. So, um, yeah, definitely into a project. Yeah, I don't have a scroll bar right now. I don't know what setting it's in. Um, it's just uh, comments, and then they disappear. So if you keep typing, I'll keep looking. <laughs> uh, what else? Yeah, I haven't done anything. Um, I put air <laughs> in the commander tires. What else did I do? Um, I did a oil catch can follow-up video. But that's just sitting on my phone. I haven't uh, haven't edited that. I was halfway through the editing process of when I got my new uh, 
<laughs> new two door XJ. But um, yeah, I didn't finish that. Just been busy driving the girls to school. Um, not going to work. Got some time off. But yeah, that's it. Yeah, commander. Been looking into um, rims and uh, lift for the commander. But uh, there we go. We have uh, pretty rare wheels on the commander. Yes, <laughs> right on, Dan. They are leaking air. I also found a, a nail in the tire. Well, that was excellent to fix, but um, it wasn't too bad. Yes, portrait mode. Yep. I did this out of iron. This is the worst. If I break my this car, it's gonna kill me. <laughs> okay, better be able to put all this stuff back. So right in here, where you plug your audio jack into on the faceplate of your vehicle, um, something in there got all screwy. You can't hear anything anymore when you put the, uh, the plug to listen on your auxiliary input in your vehicle. So um, right about now, I'm just going to try to reflow any cracked solder joints. I don't know. They look good to me, but then again, it could be hairline little cracks in here. I'm guessing somebody... There we go. <laughs> but it's like saying somebody jimmy jammed that plug in there. Might have broke something inside, so uh, it's hooped. <laughs> uh... Yeah, so the baby does cry every now and then in the middle of the night. Um, I do hear it. I do wake up sometimes. Um, but my wife usually takes care of that. You know, she's got those mom instincts. She pops up. She feeds the baby. And usually lets me sleep. But I get to go run around and do all the other fun stuff. Grocery shopping. Driving the girls to school. Um, not working on Jeeps, unfortunately. Then again, it's freezing out. Um, I actually went to see uh, a performance uh, shop today. Talk about a 4.7 stroker in this new uh, Jeep project. He recommended buying one online. He said for him to build it, it costs uh, way more than what you could uh, you could have one shipped to your house for. So I might do that. It's a shame because I got like three 4.0. In the backyard, I was hoping to tear into one of them, but I could still do that for fun. All right, so just got the solder in here, a little, uh, a little melty, and then uh, that's it. I'm going to wipe everything down with contact cleaner and put all this garbage back together. Oh boy! Hang this up. Unplug it. Out of the way. All right. Where's my contact cleaner? Some contact cleaner and a Q-tip.
Yeah, uh, I watched a great video. Um, it's a guy, I forgot his first name, but his last name's easy to remember, uh, Newcomer. Newcomer Racing, I think he's somewhere in North Carolina, North Carolina and it's four seven strokers. So he's got a YouTube video, and uh, <laughs> I watched it, and I wanted a stroker. Um, they, uh, they use a lot of stock parts. Um, but, uh, it's just, uh, it, it doubles the power. I think they use a 4.2 crankshaft, um, from the eighties, which is half the weight as our 4.0 crankshaft. So it's uh much lighter, more power. And, uh, I could definitely use that. So now I want a stroker. I can't get out of my head. So <laughs> it's pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah, man. You saw that, right? Does that make you want a stroker or what? So, uh, yeah, once I, once I saw that, it's on. So, I don't know, maybe I'll get this Project Jeep running with, uh, with one of my 4.0s here and then eventually switch over, but that is in the future. I just gotta get this thing started. That's basically it. About a year and a half and nothing going on right now <laughs> with that project. Alright, so I'm just wiping all this thing down with contact cleaner. And, um, that's it, man. I'm just going to put it back together. So, I don't know. Let's see how this thing goes. I wanted wanted to give all the components a nice bend inward so they make good contact when you insert that audio jack, but uh, it's got a pretty specific pattern here, so I'm just gonna have to click it back together and uh, hope for the best. So, trying to get this in still. It's a little sleeve for the cover. Um, yeah, man. Up until today, the weather's been <laughs> pretty beautiful. Kind of, kind of a shame I couldn't get any projects done. I still got to strip apart that extra ZJ I got, and then um, grab that. And I got to start taking apart my XJs so I can get them uh, <laughs> worked. What's up, Mr. Garcia? How you doing, brother? Good to see you today. It's giving me trouble. It's a little bit. <laughs> Thanks, brother. Good to be back. Uh, although it's not official video, I'm not really doing an official project today. Just wanted to say what's up. And, uh, <laughs> man. I got into a, got in a little deep on my wife's commander. I took apart her whole head unit. <laughs> this is this is my wife's uh uh I guess it's the radio XM DVD player and it's in pieces because I can't leave anything alone. <laughs> there we go. Alright. I got the cover back on the jack. And um yeah. Hey guys, I'm going to Put my phone down. I'm gonna get this stuff all back together, and we'll see if uh, we'll see if this works at the end of the day. So, all right, guys.
Thank you for watching. Uh, if you want to check out my Instagram, I'll uh, post a, a picture of this all back together, and hopefully the jack works. So, uh, all right, guys, take care. I'll get a video out there soon. All right, guys, peace.